the Hornets who knocked off Dallas in the first round, taking on the Spurs. You saw some of the players reference that Phoenix series, how physical it was for San Antonio. Well, Tim Duncan, Chris Paul, a couple of the principals here, they split their four games during the regular season, and now it is on in the postseason. That is Peja for three as the Hornets come out hot. Good for an 8-0 start, but then San Antonio answers, ties it at 10 here. Tony Parker with the nice reverse here. It certainly was. It went to the other side of the rim. Bruce Bowen waits then fires to Manu Ginobili for a three. Spurs led by four after one after trailing eight nothing in this game. So they got it together after the Hornets mascot jumped through a flaming hoop as part of a performance for the crowd. They have to distinguish and clean up a mess there that delayed the game for 19 minutes. Let's see who would heat up after that. Tony Parker gets it going in the lane. Good for an eight, or rather, uh, should see a San Antonio by eight. Now it's Chris Paul lobbing up top to Tyson Chandler, who had a solid game. They capped a 14-3 Hornets run as they regained the lead. But the Spurs punch back as they are known to do. Bruce Bowen rising. 17 points for Bo Bowen. More of an offensive player in this game than you would expect for San Antonio. And that score was uh, right there. They had eight, but all of a sudden, here comes the Hornets back. And that sting from the Hornets, I'll tell you what, it'll make you feel, it'll make you hurt. Paul West and company trail by four at the half, and we talked about who would be on fire. It was uh, it was the Hornets in the second half. Paige and Stoakovic and company knocking down shot after shot. That was part of a 13-0 New Orleans Hornets run. You saw a moment ago, that is West with a nice arcing shot there. Hornets by a score of 74-66 after three, and they continue to control in the fourth quarter. They finished strongly against a team that has been there many times before. They knocked the King Kong to his feet off his feet, I should say, in that all-important second half, particularly in the fourth quarter. Again, transition basketball, and that's what they were able to do. When you see a team run like that on the Spurs, two things. One, defensive balance. Secondly, the missing shots. Put the ball in the basket, teams don't run. We saw uh, Paul and Wes talk about Chandler. We actually, actually I didn't bring him up to you, Fred, and I should have, but Tyson Chandler, uh, as they pointed out, doing a fine defensive job against Tim Duncan. He had 10 points, 15 rebounds. You look at this, you talk about role players. Look at these guys. You have West. You understand his role. Sorakovich, ditto. Great outside threat. Chris Paul does everything. Tyson Chandler, a guy who can bang the boards and produce for you, throwing 10 points from Wells as well. That is a solid role-playing team, and it came, uh, it really showed itself tonight in a, in a big spot where they get a 19-point win. And shooting 50% from the floor, but more importantly, they out-rebound the Spurs 50 to 34, getting 16 offensive rebounds to only eight for the Spurs. So uh, Tony Parker talked about coming out of that physical series with the Phoenix Suns. Uh, uh, the Spurs are playing like a team that came out of that physical series, needed more time to recover because they were, their legs were dead in this ballgame.